Spider-Man is a special character. People usually discover Spider-Man when they're very young, and they grow up with Spider-Man. To find out we were going to make Spider-Man was a dream of a lifetime. When I found out I was working on Spider-Man, I had the initial freak out. I went and I started writing the first scene, and my hands were shaking as I was doing it. Spider-Man has such a huge fan base, a loyal fan base, um, and a fan base that obviously knows a lot about the universe. And would I be able to do justice to this amazing franchise? He's a rare character that has been popular since his first short story in Amazing Fantasy 15. And he soon became Marvel's most popular character. And he's held that position for decades. Wow, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. To be asked and have the honor to make a new video game and to work with partners as awesome as Insomniac and PlayStation. It's amazing. And in many ways, it lives the Spider-Man mantra of, with great power, the opportunity to make a Spider-Man game. There must also come great responsibility. You try to look at what does everybody love about Spider-Man because we all actually come into Spider-Man differently. I mean, I started with an action figure in Underoos, where some people started on the comics, or some people started with the first set of movies. So. Inspiration-wise, before we started working on the game, we read everything we could. You look at the Ultimate Spider-Man series that was created by Brian Michael Bendis, and what I really liked about Brian's take was that he kind of said, it's okay to twist things a little bit. It's okay to take that the DNA of the character, but then mix things up, and that was kind of like one of our models. On the Marvel side, we were taught by Stan Lee, he said, every comic could be someone's first comic, so you need to make sure that it's accessible, that it's awesome, it's so fun that they want to come back for more, and you have to do that each and every time. So here with this game, this may be someone's first exposure to Spider-Man, so it's our job to make sure that we communicate who he is as a person, to show how fun he is, to show how fun it is to be him. We are giving experience that you haven't experienced before. It's not the same story you've read in a comic. It's not the same story you've seen in the movie. We wanted to give you something that is fresh and unique. If you're going to play a game called Spider-Man, you want the best. We have to be the ones that years from now, did you play Marvel Spider-Man? Oh my God, that was the greatest Spider-Man game ever. That's our goal. That's what we have to swing for. Today's station.